Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this one, I'm going to be showing you how to refight all the dungeon bosses in Tears of the Kingdom. So, the first one we're going to be fighting is Kolgara, and we're going to fly to there on our trusty hover bike. You know, I should probably put some Zona armor on so this takes up less energy. And where we're going is this blue dot right here. It's right underneath the North Tavantha snowfield. And the requirement to be able to do this is you have to you have to have completed the wing temple because we're going to be fighting Kolgara and that is the wind temple boss for that light route off in the distance. Oh, here we are. Now if you can see right there, that's Colgara. So I'm gonna try and quickly illuminate the area. Because it's really hard to fight if you can't not see anything. That ought to be enough. there. Oh, I didn't even really aim that. I will land more as we get closer. So yeah, the first boss fight right here. And you'll notice all the way down there, there's a chest. Oh, it's actually here. Okay. And that chest has a hundred crystallized charges in it for after we defeat Quilgara. Something I would recommend for this fight um, would be the Allied Armor. It makes it a lot easier. Alright, here we go. So yeah, it'll play the music. You just gotta remember how you did it before. The Glide Armor really helps because then you can dive around and there is an updraft in this area so you can do it the same strategy as, as normal oh. I think I missed my opportunity go quickly try and grab this light room because it's kind of kind of chaotic here. Oh. Oh. All right, just got the light route. Let's. I think I left, so it like deactivated the boss fight. Second phase. Can't skip it. Yeah, and so at the end of this, we get we get 100 crystallized charges from the chest, and we get a unique fusible item from this boss. This does go.
dang it. So yeah, that is the first boss complete. Alright. Afterwards, they put us on the ground with this fusible item. Colgara Jaw. Now, I will probably just use it to the Master Sword. I just like extra elite, extra reach spike. Does 36 damage, which is kind of a lot. Then after we do that, all we gotta do is walk over here, open the chest, huge crystallized charge, really nice. Now you get one of these after defeating every boss, so yeah, that is that is the one for Colgara. There's two other arenas somewhere. I just haven't really haven't really taken the time to look around for them yet. So the next bo boss we're gonna be doing is Mukdarok from the water temple and this one you fight I think right here so let's go to the light route all right when we get to the light route it's, it's a short little climb up so i'd recommend a rocket shield oh wait no it isn't it's right here <laughs> gonna grab this pristine Zora spear here. Oh what do I get rid of? Nineteen attack up eight. It's good. Alright, as soon as we step on here, battle will initiate. They just cruise around in there. And add that to my monster collection later. I also needed a photo. Alright, let's go. So, obviously, it really helps to have Sidon here. Your sages will help you out. Where are you, Sidon? And also, Splash Fruit. Also, having attack up armor here, I'm going to put on the higher defense stuff, it's really key. Also try and get your most powerful weapon. Alright. Nope. Alright, don't try and freeze him. Just if you fire us pretty rapidly. Second phase. All these bosses still got their second phases. Remember to use side here. I'm not really doing that, but <laughs> I don't know why I'm not doing that. That doesn't do much. Got him.
go, go, go. Almost got him. There we go. Alright, that was boss number two. Muck the rock. And you can play that extra outro cutscene if you want. Yeah. And he just drops a whole lot of Octorog parts. So, yeah, not as useful as the previous one. Um, I have already fought him at this arena before. So I already have the crystallized charges from the chest. But if this is your first time, yeah, go ahead and claim those. So that's Muktarok. Right there. The next two, the next one we're going to be doing is... I'm pretty sure it's... It says it's right by the abandoned Karakara mine. So I think that would be... I was mistaken. It's actually right here at the end of this this river. Whatever it's called. The Tamiya River, but in the underground. Right here. So let's go ahead and do that and warp to this light route. Alright, here we are. I think we need to travel this way. And as always, I got my trusty hover bike fuse. Hover bike. I would really recommend building this hover bike. It's super useful. I use it all the time. It's really great, especially in the underground, except when you know goes on it. It is a little bit of a walk this way if you decide to do that, but hey, look, I can see it. It's that Chloe thing all the way up there. And yeah, I think we're going to be fighting Queen Gibdo. That, that's, that's this battle. It plays out exactly the same as it does in the in here. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. Almost there. Ah, oh, whoops, I messed it up. This is the marbled, marbled Goma re rematch. As always, you need Yenobo for this one. None of your other sages really do a whole lot. Um, yeah. But I think the Queen Gibdo fight is, is here, actually. Yeah, yep, it's right. Queen Gibdo fight is right here, so we'll be going there after this. Where's Nobo at? I'm just gonna disable my other stages because it is really confusing. There's one. Also, neat trick you can recall these. Get to the legs. On. Heal out your damage. Something else. You can also shoot it with arrows if you want. Like, I don't think I have any Gibdo bones on me. But something you got a lot of. And then just get out your three shot bow. Oh, second phase already. Now there's no ceiling here, so I'm not sure what the second phase is. Maybe it's just... You bomb flowers to anything. Sadly, just you know, though. Now, those are pretty deadly. He explodes them. There we go. A lot just happened at once. Climb on top. That was basically broken anyway. Got him. That one was the fastest yet. Watch the outro cutscene if you would like.
man. Kaboom. And he also drops this big boulder. I think it's one of its feet. Um, I'm going to attach it to this Zora spear. And I think it has some sort of firepower. Yeah, 38. Anyway. Switch to this. And let's come grab our crystallized charges. Alright, now the Queen Gibdo rematch. You, all you gotta do is come around this way. I think it's right here. There is a light route here if you want. But yeah, it's right, pretty much right there. I'm not gonna bother with the light route. But yeah, we're gonna go this way. And I might as well grab my hover bike out again. Alright, I just kind of kind of left the arena, and there is a light route over here if you want. The battle's more that way, but I think I'm going to grab the light route so that's a little bit easier to see. And there's also a Yiga outpost camp that I'll be, I make a video about later. Yeah, it's pretty much right outside one. These are kind of interesting, there's 20 crystallized charges in a chest in, in, inside. There's a Yiga schematics thing. There's a tree here. I'm here for the light route. Alright, we illuminated the map, and as you can see, I think. That's just barely off. It's right here. So, grab our hover bike again. Or maybe not. Yeah, it's gonna be a long flight over there. Alright, I lied, that took like one minute and... Oh yeah, you can see there those little Gibdo hives. Something you could do with this is farm Gibdo bones if you want, because... I have a shortage of those. Super dark, even though I activated the light route. It's kind of weird. Again, same thing. Make sure you have Riju activated for this fight. Don't think I can do anything with these yet. Also, a trip, a tip. Some Dazzle Fruit on an arrow. Knock her out. Oh gosh, that does a lot of damage. I mean, I also don't have very good armor. Oh boy. Let's do one swing of this. That was really fast. My sage sages are overpowered for these fights. So all you do is Alright, here come the Gibdo spawners. Remember bomb arrows. Or not those. Um you know what? Where's Reach you at? Elemental weapons best against these guys. Or a dazzle fruit. That'll deal with them pretty fast.
kill. And when there's too many Gibzos, you don't even have to shoot one, you can just throw it on the ground. Alright, now where is the boss at? did it. It's already like a 20 minute video. Goodness. Alright, well, there is the last boss. I do not recall what the fusible item is. Oh. That looks weird. Alright, I don't have a weapon to fuse it on to. Let's put it on the shield. Queen Gibdo wing. Does it like make you go higher or something? That is weird looking. But on the bright side, it does have a fuse. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. And as always, grab the 20 crystallized charges. 100, I mean. 300. Go get yourself a battery after this. Alright, well, thank you everybody for watching. My video on how to refight all of the bosses, and I'll see you in the next video.